license any asset type.
Ooh. Hello, everyone. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. I am back. Hope you all are doing good. I am doing pretty good. Also, yeah. Um. Yeah. Things have been good. However, uh, my mornings were not very productive. As I mentioned yesterday, I was going to potentially watch or rewatch the tutorial vids dealing with moving a character to um, VR chat. But yeah, I wasn't able to, mostly because, okay. So my explanation is that uh, I had to wake up earlier than usual to do something in the in the morning, in the beginning, in the morning. Uh, and then usually when I get up, um, whatever time I get up, what the fuck? Oh. Um, I can't immediately go back to bed, especially if it's like a time that I'm not supposed to be up. Um, I have to like, I don't know, I, I have to like get retired again so that I could fall back to asleep. So I got up early, I stayed out for like a couple hours, or actually a few hours, um, until it was like 9 or something. And at that point I got retired from waking up at, a, at such an early time that I ended up going back to bed and I slept until like 12 o'clock, which was really bad. Um, and then I had to do some other stuff now that I was actually awake, you know what I mean. Um, So yeah, not a very productive morning, TBH. But anyway, that will not stop today's program or whatever. I don't know why I said program, like as if, as if this was a show. Um. So yeah, what's going on today? Um, I don't believe I have a reason like yesterday for me to leave um early that might change i'm not sure it's kind of like something that i don't have control over so my bad if i do have to go earlier when i say earlier i mean like maybe like at seven which basically just means that there probably won't be any gaming and stuff like that but yeah um but if not, then yeah, more gaming today. Uh, continuing with Infinite Factory. I haven't touched it, I guess, I think in like two days or something. Because I played Hell Divers a couple days ago. And then yesterday I didn't do anything game related. So yeah, I'm excited to get back into it. Because, you know, we're moving along. And I want to actually move along. Apart from that though, today... Oh, wait, what can you guys see, actually? Okay, good. Today, we will continue working on the two things that I still have to finish for the Medusa character model stuff. Um, number one is the broom. Uh, I started that yesterday, as you could see. Uh, I might puff this up a bit, or maybe like add another loop cut here so I could puff it up a bit. Anyway, sorry. I gotta, I gotta, I need to, I need to stop thinking and just recap. Um, yeah, broom, I have to do a little coil, I have to do this. I'm probably gonna follow, uh, JC Thornton's, uh, example about how he did, um, the end of the broom here. It's a lot more simplistic, but it also, you know, it, it's not, it's not gonna, like, kill me when it comes to like the amount of vertices that it may have if I decide to be very detailed. Um, apart from that, we also need to work on her shape keys. 
We started that yesterday, but in the middle of working on our shape keys, I realized that I might I might have made a mess up. Um, I think, and I'm I have the video open right now, so I'm gonna watch it or I'm gonna like look into it in a little bit. But I think I was supposed to combine the mouth and all the eye stuff to the body, and also I think the hair as well. Um, I was supposed to combine all that together, um, and I didn't do that uh, just because I forgot. I, I, I really should write this down somewhere, because um, I don't have it written down. Like, I have all the other steps of the model-making process. So, yeah, I have, like, nothing to go off of except, like, re-watching a video, and, uh, yeah, I think it'd be a lot faster if I just wrote it down. I'll, I'll try to do that for tomorrow. For, like, the future, not for, like, right now, but obviously it'd be a nice thing to have. But anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going to make an incremental save. I'm going to combine them and hope that once I do combine them, um, it does not fuck up the shape keys. Uh, I'm, con I'm not really concerned with many of the face things because they don't have shape keys um, and the mouth. Uh, I already kind of, like, moved it around a bit without realizing that, oh, shit, I don't actually have, like, shape keys for it. So, that's, like, pretty simple to fix, I think. But the part that I am worried about is the hair, where I do have a shape key and an up-and-down version of her hair. Um, hopefully, it's able to transfer over. If not, then, ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ah, I don't know what to do. I have to figure something out. That also, I, I guess, also, I think that also plays into the clothing, where I have to combine a few things. Um, like for the witch outfit, I need to combine the outfit, the nails, the buttons, the hood detail, not the bracelet. I might have to combine the bracelet to the body, because the bracelets never come off. They They belong to both outfits, so... I, I could combine it with the body. Uh, and obviously for the Dr. Alpha, I need to combine her shoes, her lab coat. Oh, actually, mm, I think I need to have the lab coat separate because um, I think that's how you are able to toggle the different outfits. I think. Uh, I'm going to keep it separate and see if Maybe I don't have to do that, and if I don't, then I'll go back in to Blender and combine the objects. But I think they have to be separate objects for Unity to basically, like, uh, distinguish them and allow me the option to toggle them off and on. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. So yeah. I'm going to get the, I guess, big part out of the way, which will be the making an incremental save and seeing if the shape keys have been fucked due to joining the different meshes together, crossing my fingers, hoping that is not the case. We will see, though. Um, I'll sort that off first, because I feel like that's the most important piece of the puzzle right now. And I'll be swapping over between, like, working on our shape keys and working on the broom. Like I did yesterday, if I hit like a, a an area that I feel like um, I'm kind of stuck at, or I don't really want to continue working on the shape keys, I could go work on the broom because generally it seems easier to do. Hmm. Oof. Okay. Sorry. For some reason, I feel like it's warmer today than it has been for, like, any other day. So my room is, like, weirdly, like, hot. Uh, and I am sweating a bit. So, yeah. Sorry, yeah, because of that, I, I had, like, a shiver. <laughs> I had, like, or maybe, I, mm, I don't know. I was going to say, maybe I'm also feeling sick, but I don't think I'm feeling sick. 
Although I did sleep for like a long ass time today. Hmm. Okay. First things first. Oh god. I have Reinhardt's video up right now. Uh, I'm going to watch the beginning of it because I think that's when she talks about combining some of the bits together. So I'm going to watch it to see what exactly I need to combine. And then afterwards, I'll try to do the whole joining thing. And cross my fingers that it doesn't mess anything up. All right, putting my headphones on. Let's listen. Oh, you guys can't hear what I'm hearing, but <laughs> sorry. Okay, so it seems like, yeah, uh, she mentioned that she's going to combine the body to the head later. I'm just bringing that up because she does have, like, the head as a separate object. But she did combine everything in the face, like the eyes and stuff, and all the little eye details, including the mouth and stuff, into one object, and then combined it into the face. Did she combine the hair, though? Hold on. Nah, oh, no, she didn't combine the hair, but I think she might do it later. I think I might have to look up the next video. Hold on. And yeah, I'm gonna have to watch a video which I haven't, I didn't need to watch, but I'm gonna have to watch it for adding clothing, uh, because the models that I've transported over to Unity before didn't have clothing. Um, you know, the, the 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 outfits that they were wearing, there was no like need to change. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, I also I got have to add the the eye bones and stuff like that, and also white paint those. Yeah, th there's a lot of like little things that I, I I need to sort of like make sure that they work. Um. Before I could even like consider moving this over to Unity. So yeah, still a lot to do. We'll do it all. Don't you worry. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna start combining shit.
I think, mm, actually, I don't know. If he was able to combine the, um, the hair to the head, but I don't think her hair had any shape keys or her body had any shape keys, so. I'm gonna switch this over to basis just in case. Bam. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to hold on. Yeah, before I combine it to the body, I'm gonna make an incremental save. So let me do that. Perfection. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna combine it to the body. So let me take my headphones off. I don't like wearing my headphones. They're too bulky. Hello, Zotic. Welcome, welcome. All right. This is the important part here. I want to see what happens when I combine the hair. Also, it says she, she it says, wait, what? Oh, wait, I didn't do the CH stuff, didn't I? Okay, hold on. Let me reduce that. Okay. It seems to have not affected anything, thankfully. Good. I don't have that as well. Oh, really? Oh, have you played it any? At, at, at any? <laughs> what? Have you played it at all? Oh man, I just realized I haven't played Hell Divers in the last couple of days because I haven't had time to. Oh fuck! I really want to play Hell Divers. <laughs> it's only right now. Oh, okay, cool. Oh shit. Yeah, it's a it's a really good game. I've I've been enjoying it a lot. Um Yeah, I'm gonna combine yeah, I'm gonna combine this to that. This to that as well. Yeah, I mean you can refine it, yeah. Server issues are now fixed, so you won't spend most of your two hours before you have to refund it waiting on a loading screen. I believe they are. I haven't played in a couple of days, but they have increased the server capacity. But yeah, hopefully you like it. It's uh, it's some simple fun, you know. Co-op, co-op game. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, oh yeah, it is pretty much like Debark Galactic. You go in, you do a mission, you extract out. The more you play, the more upgrades you get and stuff. Same deal. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna combine the the detail to that, the nails to the outfit. Oh, and the buttons as well. Oops. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize how how much like I guess. How similar it is in this sense. I guess it is like pretty similar game type. Extraction, co op, whatever. I didn't know I had a name before then. Oh you know, I've been uh I've been doing shape keys stuff. But um yeah, working on her shape keys, blinking. I still need to fix like the extra eye detail stuff because I uh I messed that up yesterday. Left blink, right blinks, half blinks. Just in case. Uh, I have A, O, I'm working on CH today. Yeah. Her shape keys, I'm working on that. And I'm also working on her broom, which I also kind of started a little bit yesterday. Um, but I left like the more complicated bit <laughs> for today and uh, maybe tomorrow, depending on how things go. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Even if you are behind. 
as long as you get back on it at some point. But yeah, I am reaching like to the end, towards the end of uh, of the model making process, moving into like moving it to Unity and stuff. Oh wait, I got a message. Let me see this. But yeah, sorry, where was I? Chicky stuff. Okay. I want to make sure... Okay. Yeah, the, the teeth should be unaffected by anything. I kind of want to move the teeth back to uh, to where they should be. Because I didn't realize yesterday while I was working on uh, the mouth movements that... Uh, that I was moving the teeth to match the mouth movements. And um, <laughs> they didn't have any shakies on them. So they were just kind of acting weird. And looking weird too. All right, so let me my thing. I think ah, let's work on ah. Moving the teeth down. Uh, and that's any effects blinking too, because uh, I didn't have the the eyelashes uh, joined to the head, so they also have not been shape keyed correctly. But yeah, all that stuff. Now that I have everything correctly placed, is going to happen. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I also have. Wait, didn't I save a picture with? Hold on. I thought I saved a picture that had like uh, these sort of like A E I O U faces. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so yeah. I'll do the eyes after I'm done with the CH, because I want to do CH next. Uh just so I, I am like done with um with I think all the map movements I need at question mark. I think so. Well, actually, well, for the talking aspect of things, obviously, I need to, if I want to do, like, this face here, where, like, her, her mouth is, like, so insanely long across her face, and obviously, I need to do some more mouth movements, but, yeah, for the talking, it should be done. Uh, anyway, CH, I don't know if it's here, is it? Oh, yeah, here it is. So yeah, the teeth are front and center, and it almost looks like, compared to, like, the other faces, it almost looks like, yeah, 
the sides of the mouth come together. Maybe the lips come out a little bit. <laughs> I'm like analyzing. This is how the face works. So the teeth should be in a good place. I don't think I have to move them. Um, I might have to move them a little bit. Uh, wait, not that. Mm -hmm. Oops, not that. Move that a little bit in. Move this a little bit up. Same with this one, move it a bit down. It look it's looking a little bit too much like O right now. Let me bring let me bring her her lips down a little bit. I think it's mostly like the teeth that makes it look like a ch like ch sound. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see something. Do, do, do. Hmm, okay. All right, let's continue. The arch. How do I? I'm trying to look at the side view. That doesn't look like. Ch that looks like ah. This is wait. Does this look like more like ah than my ah? No, oh, it's the exact same. I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly the same. How do you? I'm trying to see. Wait, let me look at the the reference again. Yeah, I think. I think it's because of, wait, what is, yeah, it's because of this side here. I think I, I need to bring it in like a bit more. Same with the bottom one. Shh. 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 Shh.
Wait, let me see how she does her CH. Might be different than the one in the picture. What's she doing right now? Zoom her O, and then let's see CH. Yeah, actually, for her CH, she kind of, like, makes the, the sides go out a little bit more. Kind of like a, a, a sort of, like, cheeky grin, almost. Is that the same points? No, I think it's from the same one. I think there we go. Is that... I love it when people do the expressions they want to make or pose. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, the best reference is yourself, I guess. Just uh, <laughs> just mimicking the, the sounds and stuff that I need to do. Or when I work on hands and I look down on my own hands or stuff like that. It's really funny. Okay, I wanna. Wait, I think I might turn off personal editing here. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, uh, it's, it's really funny. It helps, though, I think. Wait, am I? I think I picked the wrong point. Mm, this one. I think I need to also pull the sides back or something. Maybe, I don't know. CH. I still feel like I need to move the teeth forward a little bit. Kind of hard to tell, like the, the sort of like teeth positions when uh when they're like pure white like this. It kind of just looks like a straight up. 
just like a block of white instead of like you can't actually see like the line. I want to separate a little bit so you actually can. Or it might actually look better if I uh when I, when I do work on like uh I had uh what's it called an outline at some point it might make it look better. Did I get a message? No, I didn't. Never mind. One is really big. I think, mm, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, all right. So, a uh, R O U what I O U I O C H is done. Um. I'm not going to do the whole, like, cat stuff generating the the other, I guess, like, vowels. Because that's just going to flood my uh, my shape key list. Uh, I'll do that once I actually decide on moving. Um, moving it over. I want to quickly... So, yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to combine the lap coat because I think you don't need to do that. Um, oh, I mean, I have to not do that if I want to, like, make it, like, a toggleable object. Okay, so yeah, I got ah, O-C-H, that's done. Oh, yeah, that's another thing that I didn't do today because of the lack of time I had this morning. Um, not only did I not rewatch the the videos on how to like move a model over to VR chat. I also didn't um I didn't go through the anime to look for other other potential shapes shapes? Uh other potential faces to shape key. I'll probably have to do that Today, if I, like, run out of, like, things. Uh, oh, yeah, if I run out of things to, to shape key. Which, at the moment, I need to do... I mean, I have her sharp eyes and sharp grin. I wonder how... I wonder if, with the sharp grin, the mouth movements will still work. I wonder if that's a thing. Because if they do, then that would be really good. <laughs> If not, then the sharp grin face has to be kind of like a toggleable thing that you do when you're not talking. Otherwise, it just looks bad. What else did I get? Hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, before we move on to that though. Yeah, and Sunny watches videos. I need to watch um I need to watch her video on adding bones to the eyes and the hair because I I need to make sure that the 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 bone I added to the 
the braid that she has um is correct i think you have to have like the z pointing like towards her head uh, if i remember correctly that might not be the case i have to check and i have to look at how she does her eye bones because you need to have her eyes with bones so that you can look left and right and stuff like that in vr chat uh and then i need to watch her like i said i didn't mention it yeah her adding clothing um because i think that will go over being able to like toggle different outfits and stuff which is another thing i want to do already well i mean i already have the outfits down so i just need to be able to toggle them but yeah before i do that though i first need to fix the different uh blinking stuff moving her other eye accessories so that it looks good now this apart from like moving the eye down this part also is a bit of a pain Do I have any pictures of her with, like, her eyes closed, I wonder? Nah, they're all just pictures of her back of her head. I don't actually have, like, any pictures of her eyes closed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Any of the references have her eyes closed? I do not believe so. Okay. Never mind. Hmm. Let me put some personal music in my background while I work on this. Okay. Eyeball time. Working on the eyeball. So I'm going to bring the top layer down, but I think I'm going to hide this like side. One thing that I could do, I could do two things, okay? I could either hide it by pushing it into the eye so you don't see it, or two... I could, like, make it go underneath and, like, hug the bottom part of her eye. Which is kind of why I want it to be like, oh, hey, let me look up. Let me look if she has any sort of images of her eyes closed. Um, to see, like, what exactly happens to that part of her eye. I mean, she does have images of her eyes closed from I could see here, but it just in a very basic anime sense, just looks like a line, uh, a basic line drawn on her face. So I think I'm going to do the first thing that I mentioned. I'm going to hide the side part of her. Um, of her eyelash into her eye. It'll make things easier for me as well. Because I just have to worry about the top bit. And not about like this side bit and like awkwardly like wrapping it around on, on the on the bottom part of the eye. Mm Yeah. 
in the future, like I said before, with like um fixing up a list um or like writing down the process of like actually doing this so I don't have to like watch videos every time I want to do this. I also want to compile a list of like shape keys that I, I need. Um that I, I need um regardless of characters because otherwise I uh, I'll probably forget. Anyway, let's Oh, can I turn on X symmetry? That'd be nice if I could. And actually, once I do the blink, once I I think I do it, uh the blink on both sides, I should be able to do the left and right blink by using uh what is it blend by shape key. Should be relatively easy, I think. We'll see, though. All right, let's start with the... Okay, this is working, right? It does seem to be... Okay. I'm going to have to check to make sure that it actually does follow along. Otherwise, it would suck if... Um, if it appeared to be following along, and then at some point it didn't. And then I have to basically, like, redo... We do things. What the fuck? I accidentally... Wait, what? I don't know what happened. It seemed like for a second there I accidentally opened up my, uh... My, uh... What's it called again? My graphics card. Whatever. Um... And then they immediately closed. How weird. Two minutes. Well, <laughs> what's happening in two minutes? Wait, what? Oh, is that like when it's done? The, the the download or what? Oh yeah, that is a big I guess like hope. Yeah, because if we can't run it, then yeah, there's no there's no point in like keeping it. But yeah, I hope too. I have played Health Divers on stream. Um, and it would be it would be, it would be cool to play with people. Maybe at some point. Sorry if you're barking. They get excited with an enemy and they think anyone comes home. They don't even have to be home. They just start barking if they think someone's home. Really excited.
I didn't realize that there was, wait, what? I don't know, I can't see it. Wait, hold on. I'll check it out in a minute. Hold on. I mean, my computer, I don't think, is, like, the top tier best best PC known to mankind, but it runs it pretty smoothly. I, I don't experience any any sort of issues due to, to my computer being, um, I guess, like, subpar or anything like that. And I did talk about this the other day, but my computer, I think, from what I've checked, has, um, has a little bit above the minimum for graphics card, but it is below the minimum for the, the, the CPU that you need for the game. And I'm not run I'm not, I'm not having any issues with, like, uh, what's it called? With, like, any sort of, like graphical issues and I think I'm still running the game I guess due to the graphics card thing pretty highly on the on the graphics scale yeah good luck crossing fingers that uh that it all, all works well and um yeah and, and hope you hope you hope you enjoy it too you know not just that it works but also that you enjoy it so yeah Bye bye. Let me know. Let me know how you how you feel about it. No problem. Have a good one. I haven't checked the other side. I need to do that. I'll do that after I'm done placing this one down. I need to make sure that it's also looking good there. It'd be a shame if it wasn't. Okay, yeah, it seems to be following the exact same pattern, thankfully. Yeah, okay. I have to move that down because apparently there was a bit of white that was leaking through on the eyes. I think if that if that if that is the case on the blank, then there, then there's white leaking through on the uh, on the on the uh, left blank and right blank as well, since they they come from the same shape key. That isn't a hard fix. So yeah, I just have to move it a little bit. I'm selecting everything now because I think now is a is a good as time as any to to start hiding this side part of the of the eyebrow. I 
wanna I wanna be able to select all this. Hold on. There we go. I think that's everything. Just moving it, making sure. I'm also gonna move this little piece here down to like also help out with the with things. I'm just going to deselect this. Whoops, I'm trying to deselect it, but uh, it's not letting me. There we go. Just so I can move everything together. I think it would be easier. I'll fix this one in a minute. Because it is kind of like not perfect. Her eye ended like right here, but with I'm keeping like this shape Oops. with the actual eyelash, then it goes it goes by like a lot farther. I'm gonna see like where I should like hide this. I think yeah, here. I'm trying to hide it while I'm not like making it look weird, you know what I mean? Side view looks alright, I guess. Yeah, that works. That looks good. And the side beat doesn't look that off. Can't really tell that it's being stretched back. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, let's look at the left blank. Specifically here in this corner. There's a bit of a... Wait, what? Oh, I'm still on blank with that. There's a bit of a uh, with the eye here that I didn't move down far enough, so you could still kind of see the inside of the eye. Okay, that one is good, and now to do the same for the right. And now I think I'm gonna test it out now, but I think um getting getting the eyelashes to go down. For the left and right blink should be easy. Um, I'm about to test it out right now. Hold on, let me fix this. I'm not select right points. I did. Yeah. 
That looks good. All right. Um, cool. Okay, yeah. So I think it should be easy to fix this. Uh, oh wait, you know, before I do that, let's. I, I haven't fixed this this one yet. Let's do this one first. So I want to move it down a bit, and I kind of want to like rotate it like down like that. And of course, I want it to to hug the eye. How does that look? Looks good. I just have to make sure that there's no clipping issues. And then that's it. So now she blinks. And that bit stays down or comes down. Sick, dope, even. Okay, yeah, so like I said, it should be relatively easy to get these two parts down. I think I just need to select them. Like, so, where is... Oh, wait, I think I hit it. Hold on. There we go. Okay, yeah, so select this one and this one. And I think I could just use blend from shape. And then change the shape to blink. Oh wait, hold on. I need to disable uh, symmetry. So there we go. Easy peasy. And I have to do it to the right side as well. Select these two. Boop, boop. Do the same blend by shape. And now the right blinks perfectly. Okay, now I have to do the same thing with the half blink. I have to bring the, the thing down. I will have to keep, I think, the side because it doesn't like completely disappear when it's half blinked. Um, so that's gonna be interesting how we do that. I'll probably just have to shrink it a bit. So I just have to bring these points really close together. Um, and then I just have to do the same thing I did before with the left and right blink. On the left half blink and left uh, right half blink uh, blend by shape and that should be easy peasy and i think that's it right yeah that's it for the blinking stuff Making sure that I didn't accidentally I have to move the points a little bit. Just like these ones here. Like that. And then push them out so you can actually see them. Hey! How's it going? I'm, for me, it's going... <laughs> sorry. It's going good. It is a oh way. It is going good. I'm working on shape keys right now. I think I also have to kind of like rotate these a little bit. Yep, working on shape keys for Medusa. 
And also her broom. At some point, I'm still working on that. So far, so good. Yeah, I have, like, a bunch of them done already. Uh, you know, basic... Blinking. Blinking on each side, just in case. A little bit of a half blink. I'm working on this right now, fixing the, the eyelashes. And I have the basic A, O, and C, H. And I want to add more. Um... But these are like the basic ones that I need to have done, I think. But yeah, things are going well. Uh, we're slowly, yet again, getting closer to being done. I think shape keys is kind of like the last thing I need to do. In terms of like, things I need to add. Because, yeah, I think after the shape keys are done, I could start moving it over to Unity and getting it ready to, like, be be moved over to, like, different things. Like VR chat or, like, a VTubing model or something like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me yeah, do that so I could see how it looks. But yeah, how are you doing? Hopefully good too. So yeah, Ocker did a VR stream earlier modeling is a not for my scene. Oh really? Oh that's cool. I didn't know you streamed. I don't think you've uh, ever mentioned it. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise I, I would have like tuned in or something. That's pretty cool. I honestly don't want the girls a bit of a need to be honest. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I still feel like I'm still... I still have a lot to do when it comes to streaming. But yeah, I'll make sure. I'll make sure if there's like any vods, I'll, I'll check you out. See, see what what's all what you're all about. I think, wait, no, I'm gonna do this, I think.
Oh, what the hell? Oh, I guess I... I selected that. Okay, yeah. That should be fine now. I post all my streams, by the way, VR modeling, uh, start more IRL stuff, in gaming. Oh, that's pretty cool. VR modeling must be pretty interesting. Modeling in VR. Wait, let me, I need to move, like, these points, like, closer together. Because I, I have to kind of, like, smush them a bit. Or for this to work. Yeah, I'll check you out. See, see, see what kind of stuff you do. Oh God, this point wasn't. Does this point even belong? Oh, like here. Let me let me do all of these. I need, to, I need to fix this. Mm -mm -mm. I think I need a... I think I need to move some points down. On, on the top part here as well. So I can make room for the... this Actually. yeah like that I do definitely have to shrink this 
down quite a bit. For that, all good to do, just having fun with it all not around here. It's pretty much like working with clay. So we haven't been modeling. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, that's pretty cool then. Modeling it with clay, like in a, you know, a virtual aspect. That is pretty cool. What the hell? Why is this one so far back? What the fuck? I think that's good enough. Oh shit, okay, I didn't have X symmetry on. So I'm gonna have to redo that. Oh fuck. Unless, wait, is there a way to mirror this? I don't think there is. Hmm. What the fuck? The hell?
Oh wait, that's not what I want. Mm hmm. The fuck. Oh. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I have to do it on both sides. I completely forgot to check. All right. Give me one moment. I will be right back. I need to uh, talk to someone real quick. Um, and yeah. But yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, and then yeah, I'll do that side on the face. Because I fucked it up. Whatever, whatever, I'll be right back.
All right. I am back. So let us continue where I left off. I am still... God, I hate when that happens. I hate when I forget to turn on like the X image here. Or I have the X image on when I don't want it on. And now, b both ways, I end up fucking shit up. And now I have to redo it all, which sucks. No, yeah, everything's everything's good. I just had to, you know, say hello to someone who just came. She just came back. Nothing major. Um, see, so yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to like mirror this in in a way like with a mirror modifier. I already tried looking it up. <laughs> Mir mirroring something without using a mirror modifier. Yeah, right? It is very annoying. Especially now, since I have to redo uh, what I did on her left side, on her right side. And then there's, like, the issue with, like, what if it doesn't look the same? And it's just, like, it's it's weird. It's 100% not going to look the same. I don't know if that's going to look weird uh, on her. But anyway, I'm going to do it. Gonna get mine to work. Oh shit, yeah. Well, that sucks. Having symmetry shirt sure does make the projects a lot easier. That's for sure. Especially in the initial modeling phase. Yeah, right. That's when you kind of want it to work. Yeah, that's true. You'll figure it out. And then everything will be a lot easier once you do. Most likely.
Okay. In terms of look alike, they do look a bit different. I think on this left side here, um, this like side eyelash bit looks a lot, uh, I think like thicker than on the other side. But I think it it's fine. I don't think the difference is like that major that like anyone could be able to anyone should be able to tell. I, yeah, I still need to move like these little, little bits 
uh, above the eye, although that time I will not forget the X symmetry, hopefully. We'll see, though. I'm almost done with this. This is probably like the easiest part of the eye. It's that, that this side bit that's, that was the hardest part. So that's why I did it first. I also need a save collection. I haven't saved that entire time. Last thing I want is for a crash to reset my progress. Progress. What? Hey, what happened? Wait, what, what actually happened? I generally don't know what happened. Hold on. Okay. I was going to reset a little bit. I don't know. Okay, I hit next accidentally instead of hitting save. And that for season, for, for season, for, for some reason, reset my entire progress. Luckily. Okay, good. Okay, luckily, not much was lost. I'm going back. That was so weird. Why is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know much about uh, the only reason I have that add on on is because it allows me to do incremental saves. I don't really use it for any other reason. But, um, ooh, that was scary. Holy shit. <laughs> and it was like, oh, God, that would have that been so bad if I had to like redo everything I just did. I got, I got like scared there. Alright, everything is fine though. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, that was weird. I don't even know what that means to go like next or previous. Why is that even a thing? Anyway, whatever. Okay, now, for real, I'm done. Ooh. I'm done with the half blink. 
pretty cool. Okay, now I just need to set it up for the left and right side of her face. So let me do that. Oh wait, I'm not done. Hold on. I need to move the this little line here. I need to move it down. But before I do that, I'm going to turn on X symmetry so I don't have to redo it on both sides. I'm just going to I think I'm going to just like rotate it from like this point here. Like that. And then probably move it in a little bit because it is hovering heavily. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, right. <laughs> Finally. I don't have to worry about doing it on both sides. I just do it on one. Much better. Much easier. Quicker. But yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. I just gotta do it. Uh, wait. Oops. I'll do it on this side as well. Oh wait, hold on, I need to turn off X symmetry. This is why I uh I ended up messing that up because I need a whoops, not that. I need to I needed to turn off X symmetry to get this to work. Okay, that side is done, and now this side. Perfect. And there we go. All her blinkings are done. Ooh, okay, sorry. Hmm. Hmm, all right. Okay, yeah. So now, the three things I still need to do are the broom. Need to get done. I need eye bones. I think specifically for VR chat. And the two shape keys that I would like to do are the sharp eye from Ref and the grin from the reference. Ugh. Okay. Wait, hold on. God, I have so many tabs open. I have like 30 tabs open on this this thing. I really should. I'm going to start deleting some of them. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to do something first. Yeah, I'm going to start deleting some of them. Too much. Too many tabs. And for what? Hmm. 
Yeah, so I haven't figured out what I want to do with the hood. Um, and the way it currently currently reacts. Okay, yeah, this one is about the armature. This one is about changing clothing. What is this one for? This one's how to upload your model to the VR chat. What is this? Okay, that's all the simple stuff, I think. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, yeah. Let me look at the the eye bone stuff. I think this is it, right. Oh wait, no, this is not the wrong. This is the wrong video. This one is it. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, let me make the the bones for the eye. Okay, first things first. Um, let's see how visibility. No, viewport display. Access is right. Why can't I see the axes here now? Ooh. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was like wondering where the hell is it? Okay, so these bones should be fine. They're all pointing I think she said that the the Z axis should be pointing towards the head, which it is. You know, pretty much. Um Yeah, let me make the the eye bones. What's attached? Wait, what is this?
Okay. Yeah, just making sure. I don't see a line coming from from this bone, so I was a little bit confused. Anyway, hold on. What the hell? Oh, I'm in pose mode. What the hell? Delete that one. I do that uh, to get some stuff so I've got a bit to work out. So far, I'm great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Have a have a good night. Thanks you. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we're getting we're getting we're getting there. Sooner or later, I don't know when, but yeah. Maybe in a few more days, I will be done. I should be done with everything. So it's nice. But yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It's these. Wait, hold on. I think I know. Okay, hold on. Let me rename these. This is gonna be. Uh. Braid. Dot one. Braid dot O two and this one's going to be braid dot O three. Hold that L. I think that's how oh, should we hold on? Okay, yeah, that's how she named it. And then she named this little one here. I'm having trouble selecting for some reason. And for some reason it's selecting. Oh wait, it's because it's connected, isn't it? Hold on. Wait, where's spine six? This is spine five, which one is spine six? Oh, what? The naming convention of this broke. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, 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 this is fine. Oh, I was looking at the parents. My bad, my bad. Where's spine six, then? This is... Oh, wait, no, this is spine six. Oh, wait, I've been parenting things the wrong way. 
My bad. Thank god I caught that. Otherwise I would have been bad. Her eyes would have been parented to, um... To, like, the top of her neck instead of her head. Oh yeah, sorry, this one... Oh shit, I did it again. This one is... I dot L. I think that's it for the eyes. I should be able to just, like, symmetrize that on both sides. Okay, yeah, so she has a hair root. I don't... Do I need that? Hmm. I feel like I should make it just, like, as a just-in-case. Like, I do need it. I don't want it to, like, mess things up. You know what I mean? Wait, I want to look at the, the, the point where she talks about the fact that, um... All the hair bones have to be basically pointing inward. Um, where does she mention that? Oh yeah, here we go. Fixing axes on the hair. Yeah, you want the the axis to paint at the point, paint, point inward. Um, primarily like towards the the position of the um the spine. It seems. Okay, so I think I'm done with the bones issue. Yeah, I think I'm done with the bones. Yeah, right? We're in shape keys. Very surprising, isn't it? We're getting there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look at her... Way painting episode to see how she handles the white painting on the eyes and hair bone. Well, I did talk about that, didn't I? I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a a hair root bone just like as a just in case. I actually do need it. I don't want it to sort of like to get in the way or of anything. But yeah, we're already at uh, at the ship key stage. Very nice. Okay, and we want these, I think, to be parented to, or at least this one, to the hair root bone. Where is that? I think this is fine. Oh, 
we are going to have to go back into the, the wave paint and uh, change the way. I think I don't have to change the way the braid works, but I do have to change the way that. I think I had the head set up so that it controls the hair, but I want to remove that now and make it the. Um, uh, the hair roots job to do all that. I think there's a way to maybe copy that. I don't know though. I think like. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I was going to say maybe here. Or maybe, hold on. I could go to, what is it, spine six? I forgot how to do this. Yeah, because it controls the hair like very little, but I want that to be on the hair root bone. How do I do that? Weights. Assign the matter from bone. If the amount of mentioned the match how much is selected bone, you can see some senior releases and bones. Transfer weights, maybe? No, not transfer weights. Yeah, let's do a cinematic from bones. Oh wait, no, I don't think that works. It wouldn't take long to do what I did with the head on the root bone. I just want to see if there's like an easier way to transfer it. What I could do is I could go in here and I could go into, wait, what is it? Hold on. What weight are we working with here? For the spine. Point zero 0.08. So yeah, what I can do is just go into here. Select the, where is it? Yeah, where is it? Probably need to make a new one actually because it doesn't have one. Hold on. That's the name of the bone. I want to make sure that I got it right. Yeah. Okay, so this should have worked. Hold on. Let me just quickly check. So yeah. This now controls that. This one still controls it, but um I think it's it should be pretty easy to I think I make that a mask and then subtract. Turn off front facing. I can just go in and subtract it all. Okay, that should work. So yeah, when the head moves, the hair still moves. Uh, and when 
the hair root bone moves, all the hair moves with it. Perfect. Okay, yeah. Now, the last thing I need to do is the eye. So, let me quickly see how she does it again. I forgot how she does it. And I'm, gonna, I'm also look the way she does her hair. Um, just so that, um, I'm gonna, to make sure that I did it right. I think I did it right, if I remember correctly. But I, I just wanna, like, make double, double extra sure, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So the, the both bones that are on her eye, both of them need to, um... Both of them need to... It's called, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm watching her video, so I'm, like, blanking out. Both of them need to control 100% of the eye that they're connected to, or that they're in front of, or behind of, actually. And then I need, I need to check that the rotation of the eye works. And if not, I need to move the bone around to make sure that it does work the way I want it to. Anything else I need to know about? And yeah, I have to make sure that the eyes don't also clip through the body if they go, like, way beyond where they're supposed to. And I do the same for both bones, checking that, make sure, making sure that that, um, that is working as intended. Hello, welcome. How's it going? Uh, okay, yeah, I have some facts. Making sure that all of that is gone. I have not, no, <laughs> I have not seen her trailer. 
Why does she look good? Good enough to pull four. Oh wait, there we go. Oh really? Why do you think it's confused so many people? I mean, I haven't played the story yet, so I don't know much about Sparkle's character. Watch like 10 reactions on it, and I feel like not one has guessed it properly. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Okay, that seems good. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I was trying to rotate it. Oh, God. Oh, it's so laggy, it's hard to like tell what the hell is going on. Okay, anyway, it looks fine. What is that? Is it here? If it's your if you're curious though, my theory ties everything together though. Makes your example of being college makes sense. Being masters makes sense as well as positioning. Yeah, and she also kind of has a mask too, doesn't she? She in her ult she puts on um like a a fox max ma fox max what fox fox mask. But yeah, like I said, I haven't played the story yet. Everyone sees her as a villain. I did hear that, yeah. I do know about that. People see her as a villain. And like I said, I don't know why, though. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense then. I guess the scene with like Topaz back back when uh, she showed up.
Is there, uh, no, but yeah, everyone watched the video and they would be like, she acted as so many people, she found who she is, and me watching the video, clearly she knows who she is, she watch it. Yeah, I watched it. I just finished, actually. I mean, I haven't played the story, so I don't even know, like, exactly what kind of character she is. But I guess, like, from someone who hasn't played the story and has watched the trailer, I could see where they're coming from. It's not really, though, like, she has forgotten, like, who she is, but more like, like, which personality is the real me, I guess. Not like that she doesn't know who she is. It's more like, oh, what do you know who she is, basically? Like, not her not knowing. Do you know? That's what I'm getting from it. I'm gonna have a drink. Drink it eat. Hold on, let me, let me check something real quick. But yeah, that's what I got from it, basically. God, I still really need to do that story. I did talk about how I could do it on stream. As like an excuse to do it, but I'm still in the middle of playing Infinite Factory, um, and I haven't finished that yet. Cause, Ooh, what the hell? Oh wait, there we go. Uh, I realize that there's way more to the game. Okay, I definitely need to move that back. Where did she move it actually? Hold on. Yeah, that's what most people think, but to me, she knows she's wearing the mask. No, she's just putting, playing as the mask, and at the end, she can just see the eyes of gold. To me, it's her playing as other people taking over. Being very mysterious to her, she's going to watch it. Being a child, she won't be looking for her. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, shoot, what the hell? Oh, that was a quick cut. Is it a legend path feels like the only ones that can listen to John Lance Buckle and Joseph playing with other people? So to me, it was about her path relation. It's like Sample and Joseph playing with people and uh, and Joseph playing with people. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, I'm gonna have to write that. Okay. Oh shit. Oh wait, this is pause mode. Okay, wait, hold on. Have, have I checked if this is right? Yeah, I need to go back, I think, a little bit more. I need to go a bit forward now. 
Whoops, wrong button. I think a little bit forward. And then I think we're good. Oops, wrong button. All right, that works, I think. What is it? They aren't doing it in mouse or anything. It's just what they enjoy the most. I'm spoiling the story for the two. But the two different locations are kind of helpful. The story as well. Time and they need much more to see than anything has done before. Yeah, right. Simpo is a really interesting character. I wonder what they're going to do with him. Uh, how he plays into the story. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh. Okay, what else do I need? Eyes are done. Oh yeah, I wanted to check the hair. Make sure that I did it right. Very curious. I'm very curious. I think I did it right. Hmm, yeah, weird. She has the hair root bone, but she doesn't, she still selects the head to apply the weights for the, the hair. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to keep it as is. It should work fine. I don't see a reason for why it shouldn't. Anyway, sorry. Where were we? Okay. The eye bones are done. That's all good. So, yeah. I'm down to two things. The broom. I still need to work on. And her face shape keys. I am done with most of them. Uh, at least most of the basic ones that I need. Uh, now is, I guess, the time where I start working on uh, specific shape keys. Um, that are just kind of like cosmetic. And I think here is when I could start having a bit more fun with... Did I guess like the different things I want to add to her? Uh, what was I gonna do first though? Oh wait, hold on. That's right. 
really quickly because I mentioned this earlier. Oh wait, hold on, what the hell? Oh, I guess it's I'll leave it like that for now. Don't don't change what ain't broken or whatever. I do wanna kind of like inflate this a little bit right there. Okay, yeah, I want to check. Well, I guess I'm not done with the broom yet, but I, I, I'm still going to do it regardless. Uh, I want to check. Um, what what's my uh, trig count at the moment? I think it's been a minute since I've checked. Oh shit, I didn't join the 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 scalp to the body. Let me do that. Small change doesn't change anything. Um, okay. So what do I need? The love code, the dress, and the witch outfit. Okay. And I'll select the broom as it is right now. Okay. So I am rocking. With 55k trigs, which is pretty good. I'm 20 under the recommended amount of trigs that uh, VR chat recommends you having. It's really good. So yeah, I don't know how many trigs the broom is going to have. Um, it shouldn't go over 20k in any way, 100%. And I do want to create maybe, maybe, I don't know yet. I, I still need to, like I said, I still need to go through the anime and see if uh, I could find any other, I guess, like facial expressions to add uh, to her. But in the video that I'm watching related to Shape Keys, ooh, she has a few props, things like blush or like an anger mark, whatever. I don't know if I'm going to make all those, but uh, I'm going to make the ones that relate to her character, at least from what I could see in this show. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I ever get an answer to the question? No, I did not. Okay, sorry. So yeah, so far, very good stuff. Very happy with how minimal, I guess, my vertex count has been. Yeah, when I began this, that wasn't the plan, but I'm glad that it's somehow working out still. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try to make these two face uh, or this face specifically sharper eye and big grin across the face i wonder how my face is going to or how the topology is going to hold that up i'm going to try it now and see if it's even possible if yes then i'll keep it if no then i will discard it let us begin. Should I make it all one shape key? Or should I separate the, the eyes and the mouth? I think I'm going to separate it. I'm going to call it evil eye. Okay. Okay, so one hallmark of the evil eyes is that the eyes shrink. And the overall shape of her eye becomes sharper.
feel like I need to I need to bring this stuff down. Yeah, I was about to say, do I have Exmetry on? I do, thankfully, because that, god damn it, it'd be so bad if I didn't again. Second time, not having it. Oh yeah, I'll fix those, those errors in a minute. And I'm just trying to get the general shape of it down. What happens if I like stretch this out, like to cover like her entire? Let me give it a try and see how how, how it behaves. And if I like it, then I'll keep it. And if I don't, then I could always just go back. Oh shit, it doesn't take me long to undo this action. Oh wait, it kind of like distorts everything, hold on. I think doing it manually would probably be better. Or if I'm gonna do this, maybe not distort it as much.
Hmm. I do. Wait, hold on. I do like it. I do. I do like the like the how more defined it looks. Um, with this part of the eye going all the way to the to the end on the left. However, it's hard to say whether or not this looks like the reference. That is, uh, that is my only issue. Wait, hold on. I think she needs that line down here. This line that, like, goes underneath her eye. So to really, like, hammer in. But yeah, if we see the difference, this is the evil eye. Normal eye. Eyes become, like, more oval in shape. I might even make them smaller, like, they look in the, in the reference image. I don't know, like, how... I wonder how that will, like, affect the, the rigging. That's, like, my only issue. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh, I still need to fix the top of the eye, though. The top of the eye got messed up due to the changes. Yeah, once I'm done fixing this eye, or this top of her eyebrow that got a little bit messed up i'm gonna go into pose mode and see if uh see if the this shape key change affects too much of the of the eye well, it would be nice if it didn't because then you could swap between the two different like i guess eye shapes and it would still work that would be nice Okay, yeah, let me go into pose mode real quick, just to see the effects. The eye has moved, which will affect the way the rotation works, I think. Oh, the side view here is wrong. Or is it, it got messed up. I think it looks good still. Okay, that works out then. Let's fix this bit here. Didn't realize this bit also got messed up. Oh god, this whole entire bottom layer I think is... Oh, actually, it's fine. Alright, it works. Wait. Yeah, it works. Okay. So yeah, let me write that down. So that, like saying, uh, may need a new uh, I detail object for the people I 
one that goes over to show, uh, I don't know, like more detail or something. So yeah, I'm basically just making like notes of like work orders, like, oh, hey, I need this, by the way. Okay. I still need to edit these, though. I need to edit the brow so that it points lower. And I, it also looks like it's longer or maybe, like, sharper. Points lower. I also need to edit this one so that it also points lower. Wait, let me hide the, the metal rig. It's, it always gets in the way because of the, the front facing only, or front facing on all the time. All right, that's good. And now just the eyebrows. I think I'm okay with the eyebrows uh, have a bit of deformation because, so I'm going to use that. I need it I need it to be like straighter maybe even longer hold on no it still goes over the eyes wait hold on I don't like how oh yeah like this but I wanna yeah I need to like turn it Man. Oh, that looks good, I think. What else does she need? Oh yeah, apart from like the extra detail on the bottom part of her eye. I think that's everything I can do for the evil eye. I think now... I have to do, I think I might, I think this needs to be shorter, maybe. Whoops. Right. Oh, I kind of like how it clips, because then it makes it look sharper. Yeah, I'll keep it like that. But, yeah. I need, I'm going to do the grin now, since this extra little eye, eye uh, detail I'm going to add, like, afterwards. So, the eye will get improved. But, for now, let us continue. It, is, it does also kind of look a bit, I guess, due to, to, due to the fact that there's, like, less points... On the bottom side of things, uh, it does appear a lot less low poly. From far away, you don't actually see the difference, but from up close, you could actually see that it is very choppy. But I don't think that's too big of an issue. I do want to lower the point over here. Where is it? 
like inside of here or something. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want to fix this a little bit so it doesn't clip. You can't see like the white bit. From the front, you can still kind of see it. And this might also be like a this issue as well. I think it's fine like that. I'm being too nitpicky, I think. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So the eye evil is pretty much done, except for that little detail that will be added later. Um, however, okay, I'm gonna start working on the grin. See how possible it is, if it is at all, because it is quite wide. Um, but before I do that, I will be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom, BRB.
Hello, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue where we left off. Uh, grinning. I'm grinning. Big grin. Ear to ear grin. Okay, so I'm gonna make this another shape key, just so I don't have to... Uh, just so I don't have to, you know... If I mess something up, I don't wanna have to, like, restart it, or whatever. Evil grin. Okay, yeah, so like I said, I don't know how this is gonna work. Um... I'm just gonna select like these points here and i'm just gonna like pull i guess to the side and s with like uh proportional editing and just like hope that things kind of just like land stay in place i guess grinning grinning might have to like do some like rotating like right here <laughs> he's just, he looks a bit weird. Hold on, I wanna... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I guess... <laughs> Smiley face. Grinning. Might also have to move some of these points as well, just so that they actually, like, match up in a nice and concise way. All right. <laughs> what bizarre. That looks really weird from like in in this view. You can't really see it in in the other view. The the, 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 the god damn it, what the what the fuck? The uh, fuck. Most of the reason why you can't see it is because uh there's like no outline. If there was an outline, I think you would be able to see it, and maybe it would it would look bad. I think that's what happened last uh, with uh with uh Erica as well. Um, which hopefully doesn't happen with Medusa, but when you apply a uh, the 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 what's it called again? Uh, outline. If like you don't account for it, it could it could mess you up. Which at the moment I am one hundred percent not accounting for it, but we'll see how it looks once I move it over to Unity. Yeah, because, mm, wait, oh, I think in Material Preview, oh, never mind, Material Preview was just as bad. I'll bleed my hair. Let me, let me pull up the light. Maybe the light will sort of help me see a bit more how it looks. I think I need to move it up. Da -da -ma. <laughs> she looks devious, what the fuck?
Yeah, it's hard to tell if it looks good or not from like this is like the only way I could tell. Because in the rendered view you can't really I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I could stretch it out anymore, though. I think that's, like, as far as I can go without, like, messing things up. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I do wonder how it would look like with, with an outline. I guess I could apply an outline now, but, um... Or I guess just, like, put one on just so I could see, but I don't want to do the... Or, I mean, it wouldn't take too long, I don't think, right? I already have the material. I mean, I already have the material here. Hold on, let me move this up. So, yeah, it wouldn't take long. Let's just do it, just so I could see. I don't know if the outlines work the same in, in Unity as they do in, uh, in Blender. If they do, then I guess this is a good, like... Uh, a good indicator of what's to come. That's how it looks like. It needs to be flatter. So actually making it go up higher was not the not the right move. That does not look good. Because of the, the pointiness, so... That works, actually. Uh, it would It would have looked a lot better if I could make it, like go way farther but uh i don't think i can i think i'm kind of pushing it now but that actually looks pretty decent i fuck with it hey, what the fuck happened to her hands the fuck What the fuck happened to? It? Oh yeah, I think uh, I think something happened to to the fact that I moved. Oh, hold on. I moved one of the materials around, and I think it kind of messed up. I think the the way the thing works is it inner root region, invert selection. Whoops. Okay, and then I could just select all this. Oh, wait, I think it's... Oh, okay, that's why. Wait, is that the reason why? No, that didn't fix anything. What is going on? Why is it doing this? All, all I had to do was assign it, but I didn't fix it. Okay, I think I fixed it. I realized what the problem was. Not bad, I think.
Uh, that's as far as I can make it go. I think this is, this is, hold on. I think this is an issue with the, the solidify modifier. Yeah, it is. It makes things pop out more, which means you could kind of see things that you shouldn't be able to see. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully that's an effect. We'll see. That might affect the, the, the model. When I move it over to Unity, hopefully it doesn't affect it that much, though. And either way, you can't really see it from far away, unless you zoom in really close. Anyway, we don't need this anymore. We have to see this looks good. Okay, good. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. How does it look like with the Evil Grin and the AEIOU? Uh, oh, shit, it actually kind of works. At least for the AH. Oh... CH. Oh, it works a little bit. It, I mean, it's kind of like weird in certain angles. Especially the CH where you could see like her teeth. Oh, uh, no. I don't, I don't know. It, it, the fact that it works, though, is good. And it doesn't like look way too weird. Alright. Sick. Sickness. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So, yeah. That's basically all I want to do. Now, I also want to do, like, very simple, um, or not really simple, but just, like, very common ones. Like, you know, like, a happy, a sad, an angry, I mean, I guess this is, like, her angry face, almost. Evil. Although I could also make an angry face. Like I said, I would like to go through the anime and take screenshots of particular... I guess, like, faces, if she has, like, any sort of ones that sort of stick out to me as, like, oh, this would make a really good happy face. So I'm going to save it. Or this would make a really good sad face. I'll try to do that for tomorrow. Uh, because uh, I don't, because if, if I do it now, then it's going to take me a long time to scroll through, especially since there's ads. Uh, because it's, I, I don't have Crunchyroll Premium, so if I want to watch it, I need to watch ads every episode. Um, and it is almost kind of seven. Uh, so I don't want to like dive into something that could take me longer than the amount of time I have to keep working on this. So good stuff. I still think a lot of progress for today in the shape heat department. I did not think I was going to get the evil eye and evil grin done today, if I'm being honest, just because it seemed like something that I could easily mess up. So, for the remainder of the time that I have allotted, um, I'm going to try to make the broom some more um, and see where that goes. Okay. So, yeah, I did stop the broom here because I wasn't, I was a bit unsure on how I was going to do all that, like, uh, the, like, braided nonsense uh i'm basically just gonna take like this one here and i'm going to uh do, 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 do. i'm gonna use this maybe that's not what i wanted oh wait i'm gonna rotate it hold on Fine. So yeah, I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna I'm gonna scale it upwards. I like that. Uh, I'm gonna remove a few because I think we only need three braids, and that this one has like way more than three for sure. Trying to get like the relative shape. 
It does appear to get like bigger as it gets closer to the end, but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to capture that. I think this size is good. So I'm going to convert this to a mesh. Oh, should we hold on before I convert it to a mesh? Let me reduce the resolution count. It has two levels of subdivision. Convert to mesh. Oh, wait, let me. Okay, well, convert to mesh. Wait, what? Convert to mesh. There we go. And yeah, I'm going to combine it with the original room. So I think it has like one level of subdivision. Oh, shit. I did not realize it is bending. Oh. Okay, wait, hold on. Go back. I think I do have a version that isn't a braid. Hold on, let me see if I can find that one. Where is it? I think I might have put it somewhere else. I want to have a trash department or trash one. I'm going to put it in the trash bin. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to save before I open up the trash bin because I think I threw a bunch of shit in here. Well, actually, never mind. Yeah, we have this one here. I do have to kind of squish it down a bit more. Because it is not as squished as... uh. As the hair is. Or I could I could just fix the hair. The fact that it's bending. It shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. I don't even have to fix everything. I just have to... I have to fix... Uh, just, like, enough for three of them, basically. Like, these, these, these three, I think, are good. That should be fine. Okay, let's delete this. I don't need this anymore. Delete that. Convert to mesh. Join it with this one. Cool. Yeah, that's good, I think. That's, like, good enough. I even delete some of, like, this here. This is 12 verts. This is 12 verts. Okay, cool. It does connect very nicely. I could even try bridging them. See, that works. That's good. It's not that. Uh, 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 there we go. Twelve. It looks like to me, at least from the reference, that the rod continued, or maybe like this part here is part of like the back part here. Either way, though, 
I think it'd be easier for me to just like start here. Start anew. Oh, it's like a little bit off centered. What? Like that. And so I could kind of like hide and tuck away these like ends here into like this, this, this thing here. Yeah, like that. And then have this one just like seep into it as well. I feel like I need to move it down or something because it's not like completely centered. That's like a lot better. Oh yeah, and then this part here I'm just going to kind of tuck away inside as well. Oops. Kind of what I did with the braid, because I did the same thing with the braid. I kind of just, I didn't really connect it with anything. I kind of just extruded bits and kind of just tucked, tucked the mess I made away. Maybe even shrink it a little. Something like that, maybe? Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Okay, and then it it's followed up by like three little bands that I guess are supposed to be keeping the the hay together. Uh I'm probably just gonna use like the toruses and obviously just reduce the the number the poly count. I want it to be 12, but I want the shit, the amount of rings, I guess, to be limited. Let's do 32. Okay, let's do 26. Oh shit, that's a T in the middle. What the fuck? Let's do 24. I'm trying to like, get it as low as I can. Let's do 16. Let's smooth it. So I need three of these. So not only do they have to be like not small, but like thin. They have to do they have to be a bit smaller though. I want to do this, but then it, it kind of like doesn't keep its circular shape. And I think if I click circle, oh, actually, hmm. Here, hold on. I want to shrink it a bit more then. Whoops. 
surface of the circle ends up being way smaller. Although, I don't think it ends up. Oh, uh, maybe it does. Oops. Still feel like it needs to be thinner. How else can I thin it instead of this? Not that. Not that either. Hmm. I want to thin it like from inside here. Wait, what? Wait, am I doing this right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I want to thin it like that. <laughs> Slip too much. Hold on. Like that. As well as thinning it like this. Let's see how the circle turns out this time. Ooh, much smaller. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. It, it's honestly like the same shape. I wonder if I could get it smaller then. Nah, I think that's fine. I'm going to have three of these, so... And they're Tauruses, so if that's how you say the name, I don't even know. Um, once I apply the, the solidify modifier, it might go up the, the vertex count, so I don't wanna I don't wanna play around with it too much. I still don't know how, what some of these like loop tools even do. I know bridge is kind of like uh, the bridge bridge edge loops, which actually I should probably use it more for that. I I always forget to do that. I end up I end up just using bridge edge loops. Um, circle obviously makes it a circle. I don't know what curve does. Flatten I kind of know what it does, but I don't really use it that much. For like its intended purpose, I guess. Um, G stretch, I have no idea what it does. Loft, I have no idea what it does. And then obviously, I use a lot of relax in space. Like that. I might even make them smaller. And now the broom, the actual broomy part. Oof. Uh, I guess I could try it now. Like I said, I want to do it the same way that J C Thornson did it. So I assume he took like a a cube or something. I'm not even. Let's not even use a cube. I guess we could. But uh, we could also just use a uh, a quad sphere. Just reduce the sufficient count by like a lot. Just so that uh, when I do apply subdivision, it won't be as bad. But um, make it small so that it it looks like it actually comes out of the. Wait, hold on. Let's bring this down then. There we go. Like that and then kind of like 
flattened out the end like this. There you go. Basic shape of a broom, basically. And then just like go in here and add like loop cuts and then, you know. We could add some like little, little broom bits here, but it doesn't even look that great if I'm being honest. I'm gonna have to add like loop cuts here as well. Yeah, something like that. Either way though, I'm not gonna I think it's I think it's time to call it a day for Blender, at least. Um so yeah. That was good stuff. Tomorrow I hope um yeah, I wanna do two things before tomorrow's stream. I say that now. Every time I feel like I say like, oh I should do this before tomorrow's stream and then I never do it. Either because I forget. Or because I ran out of run out of time to actually like focus on that kind of stuff. But one thing I want to do, like I mentioned, go through the anime and take screenshots of potential shape key faces that I could make for her. That's one thing. Second thing is I need to. I don't. What part am I on? I'm on uh, making shape keys. Yeah, just like watch the videos again on uh on moving the model into unity for vr chat uh, just so that i'm ready for when i have to do that and also the, the video about clothing because uh she does have a couple outfits so i need to learn how to i guess swap between them Ooh. yeah right just you know to get the <laughs> get the get ideas for shape keys by just looking at the show But yeah, really good progress today. I fixed a lot of the the shape key issues that I had yesterday. Uh, I'm almost done with the broom. I just have to um, actually finish the the hay or whatever part of the broom itself. Other than that, though, yeah, almost done. We're we're getting we're getting closer to actually actually being done here, and that is pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, I could also do some other faces here, apart from like the evil stare. He does have like a bit of a. This one's kind of like a confident look. I don't know what's going on here. I think that's the only one, honestly, from this list that I could possibly redo. But yeah. All right. So like I said, give me one moment. I will be right back. Uh, and when I come back, we are going to switch over to Infinite Factory. So yeah. B R B
Okay, I'm back. So yeah, we're moving on to Infinite Factory. Yeah, good stuff for today. Uh, lots, lots of progress. Good stuff. It feels good. We're almost there. We're almost there. And uh, yeah, I mean, I mentioned this before. The, right now, it's kind of just like um, the amount of time I I guess it's gonna take to finish kind of depends on how much I want to do in terms of like the shape key stuff. So I could be done right now, but um, yeah, I want to add more. So of course, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be done right now. Infinite Factory. There we go. Put on the volume as you guys could hear. I'm gonna open up the uh my my where is it my chat on my phone because I can't see it while I play the game on my computer. I only have one monitor. And this game for some reason does not have a not full screen mode. So yeah, you do what you can. Okay. I think mean, that's it, right? I don't have anything else I need to do. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so yeah, we unlocked the teleporter and the inverted conveyor yesterday. Low blocks, low footprint, low cycles. Okay. Okay, so it's a 3x3 three three that comes out, and then we need to put it back as a 3x3, three three. okay. Sorry to put you in such a remote location. We just want to make sure that there aren't any incidents. Neo wasn't exactly comfortable with doing it in the hangar after my last experiment, so we're being cautious and putting some distance between you and us. Nothing personal. We like you. No. Really. It's weird though that we're, 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 we've only been playing with like, these blocks. I don't even know what they're trying to do. I'm just making sure that there isn't any other like secrets. There's secrets in this game. I need to. I need to collect all the secrets. Okay. How did this work? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, okay, look at that. That fucking... That puts all the blocks where I want them. Okay, good. Oh, wait, they fall on top of each other. Yo, question mark? Hold on. Shit them as soon as they come in. And then push them. Oh god, I need to set this up again. And then push them. And then... Have a conveyor belt. Oh wait, I think it needs to go up one higher, right? Yeah, it does. Let's see if that works either, right? Does. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to sneeze. Why oh, actually, never mind. It went away. God damn it. <laughs> I 
Oh wait, that's not gonna work, isn't it? Hmm, wait, this isn't gonna work, because it's like... I have to lift it- ooh, what? I have to lift it up by one, but if it's dragging itself onto the floor, then how can I lift it? Hmm... Maybe I have to like- okay, hold on. This one, I see something. Okay, so the, there's a fourth one that shows up. That's what I wanted to know. What I could do. Oh shit, I don't want it. Wait, could try to do this. Nothing changes, but it's just because... Okay, hold on. Let's remove this and see what happens. Oh, wait. It needs to be like that. Otherwise, this won't work. Oh, but I see what's going on. Okay. It's because you can't this would be welding like the teleporter to the block which is why this doesn't work because you can't weld the teleporter mm. <laughs> oh really okay multitasking very good hmm yeah I can't do it the other method though because then I can't I can't install a lifter to bring it up by one block. So I have to do it this way, so I can't immediately connect them. I have an idea. Wait, I could just do this, I think. Do three just so I can I like that. So just so I have some room. Oh right, yeah, let's do three. Let's have some room to work with. Okay. It goes one, two, three. We have a thing here. Just have the same thing over here. Let's see if this works. Oh, maybe I should put it one higher then, so I, I could give it time to to load in, maybe. My bushy stats. No, I don't think you did. Sorry, <laughs> sorry if I missed your message for by a little bit. Oh, it doesn't work. Why doesn't this work? 
Is it because it's too slow? Wait, what's going on? Or maybe you did, I don't remember. You showed me... No. Oh no, you didn't. Oh wait, I'm supposed to make it like higher, like way, way higher. Hold on. I'm supposed to let the um I'm supposed to let the blocks push it up. Wait, so that means that this actually has to be higher as well. sensor. Okay, I need to push it one higher, I think. Push it again. Wait, right, hold on. Let me see. Here's a point I want to make. Here, I was looking at if the attack in this video. I copied it at at the time. Let me show. If you really miss. Hold on, I'm watching an ad. Okay, let's do the attack. 14k. 14... 70, 78. See yours. Oh wait, let me zoom into that. 1876. Okay. Up by 400. Maybe if it's like the muscle head. That's pretty good. That's pretty sick. Congrats. <laughs> uh, wait, okay, yeah. Uh, I want to see where I need to have to push her at. Oh, perfect. Okay. Because you don't know what the FBC lost all the stats. Ah, oh, okay. Fantastic, look at that. Sick. Okay, cool. Let's do one more. I wish it can actually be 280k that, but it took 20% lightning damage instead of another 15% attack wall. Oh, yeah, fire looks at Alright, pretty cool. Okay, now I have a, a red and a white one. I wonder what, I, I wonder what's going on. 
Why are we building these blocks? It seems relatively simple. Being for like more reason why I accidentally said it. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, you have lightning on the mind right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do one more, and I think I might call it because I have to do a decent thing right now. Um, not right now, but in a little bit. So let's just do this one ASAP. So I should probably fill you in on this. We're going to use the teleporter to get into one of the Toad's research bunkers. They've been disassembling skip drives, trying to figure out how they work, but they weren't very careful. They basically left a back door open, and I've figured out how to get us in there. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. This is coming out from this end, but on this end, it's coming out on this end. Okay. I thought they were both coming out from the same end. Okay, that does make things interesting. Never mind. Oh, okay. How am I going to do this, then? I can't use the same strategy, because if I put a... I need to put, like, a, a floater... Mm, wait, I, I might be able to. Hold on. Let's set one of them up first, and then go from there. Let me delete this, so... Let's do something like this so we could, like, prepare. So I was like going and put some fire going off the other way and it's probably turned on me. It's fire for a battle for a door to get a scene of mine and use the bronies. Oh. Guess you're gonna have to get sparkles like cone then. these both come out at the same time. Hmm, I wonder how I'm gonna do this actually. Oh wait, can't I just like... I knew that was going to happen, I think. So what I want to do is I want to design a system that... Pushes... Yeah, it's going to have to be like this. As soon as it senses something. And then that's going to follow the exact same line as the one before. It's like slowing down like this. What is this? this is at five. No six. Oh, it is a bit slower, but I guess if we make it faster, if I like, uh, maybe add like a buffer system where it pushes it back. Holy shit! Look at that. Being 
done. Oh, okay, I did done. Cycles is a bit too much, but that's because there's a bit of excess. I could fix that, but I don't really feel like I need to right now. Footprint is good, blocks is good. Okay. So more puzzle, and then I could do... Oh, okay, so this is a mission. This is the heist. I don't know why we're doing like these like small little odd jobs though. I don't feel like we're like contributing in any way. Unless like this is kind of like training, I guess. For what we will be doing in the next, these last four missions. But anyway. We did a couple missions, okay. I would have liked to have gone on for longer, but I remember I had to actually do something right now. Um, and it's better that I do it now before it gets too dark, even though it's already pretty dark out there. So, good stuff. A couple levels, they were pretty easy. It's kind of crazy how, like, the difficulty ramped up to the end. I guess that makes sense, but then all of a sudden it, it kind of dropped. It is a bit of, like, a nice, nice period of time. Where uh, I don't have to worry too much about anything. But anyway. Yeah. That is it for today. Good stuff. Um, Two levels done. We'll do more tomorrow. Uh, exciting to see what the heist is all about. But yeah. I gotta go now. Thank you for stopping by, tuning in. Have a good rest of your e good what? Have a good rest of your evening, rest of your day, wherever you are. And yeah, more 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 Blender and Infinite Factory to come. So bye bye. See you tomorrow.